Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to install and set up MySQL and PHP admin on Docker. And I will be using Ubuntu instance for this setup. At the end of this video, you will be able to access your MyAdmin as it is showing on my screen. You will just log in with your user ID and password and it will go to the dashboard of PHP MyAdmin. I have all the scripts step by step arranged in my GitHub and I will share this GitHub link and you will be able to follow if you want. But for now, let's first start creating one EC2 instance. A very simple instance with Ubuntu image only. So I'll be creating it very quickly. Click on launch instance, search Ubuntu 18.04 image, selecting T2 micro. You can do it in your own VPC or the de default VPC doesn't matter. Everything fine, fine, configure. I'm just selecting few existing type. There is nothing different in this EC2 instance. You can create your own as you want. Copy the IPv4 DNS and connect from your QTI. We are logged into the newly created instance. Now let me go to the scripts. First we have to update the instance and then we will install OpenJDK 11. Now we will install OpenJDK 11. OpenJDK 11 has been successfully installed. Let's check the Java version. Yeah, it's showing OpenJDK version 11. I have only installed the OpenJDK 11 GRE part, not the JDK because I need the GRE part only. Now let's go and uh, install Docker in this Ubuntu. Now to install Docker, there is a Docker documentation, how to install Docker on Ubuntu. You can just follow this link and uh, you will be able to complete the installation of Docker and I'm doing it. So uninstall old version, we don't have any old version. That's why I just keep on following this document from the install using the repository, this part. Okay, we have updated the instance already, so we don't need to update it again. I'm just copying this part. It is to install packages to allow apt to use a repository over HTTPS. So let's go back. Now our next step is add Docker's official GPG key. Copy this. Execute it. You can skip this. It is just for the verification that you know you have the key with the fingerprint. That's fine. Okay. Now we have to add the repository. A stable repository so now we are installing docker engine but before installing the docker engine we have to do one apt get update so whatever whatever the packages we have installed so far let's update that and it is done now install docker ce docker ce cli and container io Our next step is it is to if you want to install a specific version of docker engine then you can follow it but uh, we didn't install any specific version and that's why we are skipping this part and now we have to verify that the docker engine is installed correctly by running this sudo docker run hello world so let's go sudo docker run hello world yes if you see that hello from docker then this message shows that your installation appears to be working currently. So our Docker installation is done. Now let's go to our script and now we have to create one new user. It is always good to create a separate user and don't use the root for Docker setup. Change the user to sudo. We are on sudo user. Now create one user. So suppose I am just creating this user over here. Set the password. Uh, 
okay it sometimes it gives like this so just password and the password password successfully updated now let's go again and we have to create a group so let's create sudo group add docker most of the time the group is docker group is already created so it will say you yes docker or group already exists so now we have to add our newly created user with this docker group so a newly created username is aws tech guide so we are just modifying the docker group and adding that user okay now we will be shifting to the new user we have created so it is well so we are shifted to the newly created user and verify that whether the newly created user is properly added to the docker group and able to execute the docker commands or not so just run this docker run hello world and it should run right so you can see the docker ps as well there is no process running and docker image ls we have the hello world image over okay now our docker installation and setup is done let's install mysql now okay to install mysql first we have to pull mysql so mysql version 8 i am going to pull it so this is docker pool mysql 8 okay now let's create a password and run this when you run mysql you need to provide one root password so i am providing here as pass sorry pass 123 and just run it okay so if you see docker ps you will find that okay your mysql is running i have cleared the screen now let's do a docker ps it is our mysql container mysql container id i have just copied it now we will be checking that what is the mysql version is running so the command is docker exec and the container id of mysql then version and it is showing 8.0.224 linux it's running now if i want to start the interactive mode of mysql then run this command and uh, i hope i have provided this password correctly let's see perfect so uh, now it is the interactive mode of mysql and suppose you want to see that show databases it's showing there are four databases by default okay and if you want to create one user like uh, suppose a test user and uh, to do that definitely you have to use one database suppose use mysql database changed and now create user test user suppose on localhost identified by test123 and the user has been created so this is the interactive mode of mysql now let's go ahead and and install php my admin so for php my admin i'll be putting php admin latest image but before that let's exit okay and we are on aws take guide image um, aws take guide user which we created okay again i am clearing the screen i'm just pulling okay php my admin latest image has been pulled so let's say docker image ls and we have this php my admin latest image pulled okay now let's go and we have to run this image now now when running this part is very very important because when we are running php my admin we have to link it with the mysql db okay and for that we have to run 
the command like docker run name i'm just giving a name my admin hyphen d it is just to make this process in the background and we are linking this 96d55 it is actually the container id of the ms12 okay and then passing the port which is 8899 and this is the customized port you can change this port so on this port our php my php my admin will run and click enter now check docker ps you will see that php my admin and my sql both containers have been created our setup is done or our installation is done okay let's go and open a browser and before that let's copy ipv4 dns okay now once i copied i know that one thing i didn't do it is that you go to security security group in my security group i have the ssh port in inbound rules only but we are using 8899 that port for my php my admin so let's add that port add one more port that is for your my sql 3306 and we are done now i have copied it let's go here colon 8899 here is our php my admin login page okay let's login with it username root and password ess123 perfect and we are in php my admin so it is very simple if you follow this whole script one by one i have added one more steps as well and that is if you are using docker compose then you have to first install docker compose in this tutorial i am not showing the docker compose yml but i can show you that how to install the docker compose it is a reference link you can follow it from the docker documentation or otherwise it is very simple you just run this command go back to our console and we are with the new user only so i'm just running this command for docker compose and it is asking AWS. okay so if you try to install this docker compose or run this command it will say that your user is not in the sudo files there are two options you can change your sudo files or just exit this user and go back to your sudo user root user i mean and you can do it so what i am doing it quickly that i'm going to back to my root user running this command and our next part is change mod run this change mod command okay and now check the docker compose version it has installed it has installed 1.26.2 okay now once you have this docker hyphen compose dot yml then definitely you can manage your containers by docker compose okay but again i am telling you if you don't have if you are not trying with docker compose or if you don't have that docker compose yml this part is not necessary for you okay so till now when we open this uh, php my admin portal we were able to log in and if you see that you have this uh, databases by default already click on the new database and give a name over here test db created and we have got this new test db you can create the new tables as well okay thank you for watching this video if you have any query please write in the comment box i will be happy to help you see you in our next session. Thank you.